Hi, I'm David Ridley. In class, we'll discuss the amazing life sciences industry. Life sciences businesses make life-saving treatments, but also stir controversy. There's a lot of randomness in the business. Nearly 90% of drugs that begin clinical testing never reach the market. But also, there's control. You can typically get a patent for your biologic, drug, device, diagnostic. Governments give you a patent to give you market power. In the US, you can choose the price. If it's a high value product, you can choose a high price. While you choose the price, governments and payers, such as pharmacy benefit managers, have market power too, and they push back. Also, the government is a regulator. Healthcare is heavily regulated. The life sciences are fascinating. We're going to have great discussions because we have interesting topics and interesting people. In class, we'll discuss product development, including pipelines, licensing, and intellectual property. We'll also discuss commercialization, including product launches, reimbursement, and marketing. And we'll discuss competition, including competition with biosimilars and generics. These topics, developing, commercializing, and competing are some of my favorites. I wrote about product development in a health affairs paper. Our paper became law. It's called the Priority Review Voucher. It created more than a billion, sorry, more than $5 billion worth of value and saved some lives. You can read more about it at priorityreviewvoucher.org. I also wrote about product launches in a paper about forecasting market share. My co-author is from a drug maker, and the model we created has been used by drug executives to forecast sales for new drug launches. We published the paper in Nature Reviews Drug Discovery. Finally, I wrote a paper about competition in a paper called Entry and Competition in Generic Biologics. I called them generic biologics rather than biosimilars because it was 2007 and few people had heard of biosimilars. About 15 years ago, we predicted that biosimilars wouldn't have much effect in the United States market in the short run. And that's been true, but maybe we're now ready for the long run. To give you a sense of the topics we'll discuss in the class, let's use drug maker Merck as an example. Merck's CEO is Kenneth Fraser from 2011 to 2021. He was one of the drug industry's longest serving CEOs. That's important because R&D takes a long time. You don't want a lot of disruption in your R&D strategy. Merck was lucky to have Kenneth Fraser. When we discuss product development, we'll discuss what companies like Merck should do in terms of preventing uh, diseases or treating diseases in low and middle income countries. For example, Merck developed an Ebola vaccine. Was that a wise business strategy for Merck? We'll also discuss product launches, including pricing. We'll talk about Merck's launch of its Gardasil human papillomavirus vaccine. We'll talk about what's the right price for that vaccine using tools from cost effectiveness analysis. And finally, when we discuss competing, we'll talk about competing with generics. Merck years ago lost a blockbuster drug called Zocor. It faced generic competition like most drugs are gonna face generic competition. Of course, we're not gonna just discuss Merck. I'm using Merck as an example. We're gonna discuss companies big and small. The deliverables for the class are participation, assignments, and two exams. There's an assignment for every class. There's more information in the syllabus. The course is not perfect. It's a work in progress. We want your feedback. The goal for this class is that it's the best of its type in the world. We're not there yet, but that's our goal. We're gonna have some great conversations. I look forward to talking to you.